Despite there being so much excitement and hype for the release of the game Black Myth Wukong from gamers, for the better part of a year, we've seen the mainstream media do everything they can to try to tear this company and this game down before it even came out. And of course, so much of that had to do with them being accused of misogyny and bigotry and sexism. And this Chinese-based company said, you know what, we're going to make our game the way we want to make our game. That's the bottom line. You know, people like IGN, the woke mainstream outlets, they were not very happy about that. And they were probably even more furious when despite writing an entire hit piece about them in November of last year, accusing this developer of this and that, that was basically unfounded, the game shot to the top of the Steam wish list. And it certainly helped them get support from gamers when a rumor came out, a report, when they had turned down a $7 million essentially extortion offer from some of these DEI consultancy companies, just like Sweet Baby Inc. When they said, no, we're not going to bend the knee. We're not going to do anything like that. We're going to make our game the way we want to make our game. So I suppose it shouldn't come as a surprise that with the release just a few days away and different outlets getting their hands and testing and reviewing the game before it comes out, that places like Screen Rant have already decided that it's going to be a big knock against this game that they don't have enough diversity and inclusion. Now, this is from Screen Rant's article, the review for Black Myth Wukong, and here's Vera Dark. I'm not surprised at all. Activist journos are knocking their Black Myth Wukong review scores down over the accuracy Organizations IGN created and quote lack of inclusion and representation when they pick a target they'll do anything to bury it Hogwarts Legacy Stellar Blade or Black Myth Wukong and you can see right there we'll even go to the actual review itself let's go down and see the overview lacking in inclusivity and diversity you play as a monkey man. What, what, what the fuck are we talking about here? There's not enough females represented in this game. We can even take a little bit out of the review itself and look. While my analysis and review of Black Myth Wukong mains focus on gameplay, it's important to mention the controversies surrounding the game studio and the reports of misogyny and sexism from developers. Playing as a female gamer allowed me to notice issues surrounding inclusion and representation. As far as chapters one and two, while characters are clearly fictitious and fantastical creatures, there were no female or feminine NPCs, enemies, or bosses present. Oh my gosh, how could that possibly be? We see this time and time again, this agenda that clearly gets pushed from a lot of these mainstream outlets. When these woke outlets decide to go after somebody, everybody joins the pylon and they continue to repeat the lie. What actually ended up happening, if you look through this IGN hit piece, was they essentially mistranslated a bunch of different quotes from the developers where they were saying, look at the horrific things they're saying about women. Well, when Chinese people actually translated, they realized, no, you're just talking about idioms or turns of phrases or things like that that are not considered offensive. It's just a normal way that people might speak. And because you're not a native speaker, because maybe you ran it through Google Translate or something, you think that this comes off as super fucking offensive. They tried to bury this game back in November. It it didn't work. They got pissed when the report came out that they refused to collaborate with all these DEI consultants that they were going to make the game the way that they wanted to. And here we are a few days before the release. And one of the cons, one of the things they're knocking the score down for is there's not enough diversity and representation in this game made by this Chinese developer that's set in this mythical world where you play as a monkey. Go fuck yourselves. I don't know. I, I Listen, I hope the game's great because there's a lot of people that have been hyped about it for a long time. Uh, but I can tell you one thing, there's a lot of people that are very, very interested in finally getting their hands on Black Myth Wukong, much to the woke mainstream media's chagrin. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.